new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah. But for a start show, remember everybody, you can always support the twins at officialhorsetwins.com. You can pick you out a patriotic t-shirt or hat today. Or maybe our white privilege card. Or maybe our new race card. Or maybe some bird products. Use discount code Delta. I'll give you 20% off your purchase. OfficialHawksTwins.com. I already told him that. We got some new shows coming. We coming at liberal shithole California. <laughs> we coming to Indiana. We coming to Wisconsin. We going to the great red state of Texas. We going to Texas, and we going to Indiana. <laughs> Go to HawksTwinsTour.com for tickets. Oklahoma, too. Oh, yeah, Oklahoma. All right, um... We're going to talk about those two super predators. Yeah, because that's what they are. They're murderers. They're evil. There's such thing as a super predator. There's murderers. There's rapists. There's pedophiles. That, that, that is what I call a super predator. When Hillary Clinton, Clinton and the Clintons referred to— Well, Biden, too. Yeah, and Biden referred to young criminals as super predators. It yeah. wasn't about race. It's just a such thing as evil in this country. Yeah. People on the right spun it, said they were being racist. No, they're just being real for once. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. There's such thing as evil in this country. Like in this particular s- situation, Ella yeah. French, the police officer, rest yeah. in peace, who lost her life. Yeah. She was just doing a, a, a traffic stop for, right. I think it was no registration. Yeah. And she had a partner with her. A guy jumps out of the car 20, year, 20 21, 20. 22 years old, yeah. shoots Ella French in the head, yeah. kills her instantly, right. and shoots her, her partner in the head. Yeah, there's footage. She He actually steps over her body, the body holding cam, the gun. The body cam yeah. footage, you see him after they shoot both of them mortally. He just steps over them like they're garbage. And the, the police officers never pulled their gun. And yeah. a lot of people give cops a lot of crap for pulling their weapons early. Yeah. That's why cops pull their weapons. If they interfere for their life, yeah. sometimes they need to pull their weapon because more often than not, if someone pulls a weapon on me, they're going to catch you off guard. Yeah. They're going to have the uh, element of surprise. Yeah, that's countless times I've seen where cops yeah. pull their guns and everybody mm-hmm. scream, put your guns away. You don't need any guns here. This yeah. is, you're just pulling them because we're black, this yeah. and that. Yeah. No, cops have a dangerous job. Yeah. Maybe if they'd have had their guns out, they would at least had the opportunity to defend themselves and they would be still alive. Right. But because and, yeah. because this how cops have been painted in this country, right? Maybe they get aired on the side of not looking like, yeah. you know, white supremacists pulling guns on people. Yeah, and and I've been put over by cops. I've been I've, I've had, had guns, guns in my face, yeah. and I'm still here. You yeah. know why? Cause I know how to follow directions. Yeah, yeah. And um, before we get to <coughs> like these two boys, their mom did a video which was just pathetic. Yeah. But before we even get to that, mm-hmm. I want to touch on this. Too many times, like when incidents happen like George Floyd and these other violent criminals out there doing right. just dirt and they come across cops and something <clears throat> and one of them lose their life. Mm. Like the NFL, the NBA, mm. all these sport leagues, they they uh, pay tributes to these people. They right. got murals and, and and I think it's outrageous. And then you have these police officers. Who's going to pay tribute to them? No, no celebrity, no Hollywood. Nobody's going to tweet nope. for them. Nobody's going to yeah. do anything for them. Over 50 police officers <clears throat> in this country has already died this year. Have you heard about it? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. But you will see LeBron James put out a tweet, you're next. Because a lot of these people in Hollywood, celebrities, these professional athletes, a lot of them are scumbags. Yeah. Nobody's going to tweet for this lady. But people like him because he's got a— He's a, got a good crossover, and he's yeah. 6'9", he can dribble basketball. Other than that, I have no respect for that man. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to show you more or less the reason why these boys are in the position that they're in. And unfortunately, it's like when you grow up as a, a man and you grow up in a single family home, yeah. and I, there's some great single f- uh, moms that raise great guys. Yeah, but, but statistically, that's, that's, more often than not, that's like winning the lottery. Right. It doesn't happen often. It's like lightning striking, yeah. getting hit by lightning. Yeah, that's how. But uh, it's I'm rare. A, Majority of kids yeah. that grow up with a single, with just a mom, they end up in prison. Well, and it, and, it, and I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're brown, I don't care if you're gay, I don't care if you're cisgender, I don't care if you're transgender, I don't care what the hell you identify with. Mm. More often than not, you're going to end up in jail. Yeah, I, and not even if you don't end up in jail, <clears throat> I, I I don't think I'm sexist in saying this. Like, there's differences between men, men and women. Yeah. Like, women are more emotional than men. Men are like assholes. Women are more emotional. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And... I think a lot of times when guys are raised by a single uh, woman that's emotional, yeah, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't come out right 
in demand. Doesn't bode well. They doesn't, come off, of, they start reacting and behaving just like their emotional mom. And when yeah. a man acts like that, they are violent. Yeah. It's a beautiful one. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's some, that's some Socrates shit right there. Yeah. But light uh, skin, call me light skin Socrates. Yeah, but I, I want to say this. Rest in peace to the police officer. I hope yeah. the other officer pulled uh, yeah. pull through. But it's just a horrible situation that because the super predators in our society, yeah, stuff like this happens and the cops get no support. Yeah. All right, let's go to the video. Okay. I just wanted to get on here real quick to be a voice for my boys, Eric and Monty Morgan. I want you to know I love you and your family loves you and you not alone. Know that for everybody else, I just wanna simply say there is another side and my boy's side is not being told right now I cannot speak too much on it. All right, stop it right there. But I will say um, this. There's another side. It can't be another side. What what possibly could have made it okay for your boys to do what they did? It's nothing. The cops never even had their guns <coughs> drawn. Yeah, it's a traffic, minor traffic citation. No one had to die. Maybe your their car would get gotten taken or towed away because they might have not had insurance or maybe it was yeah. other, you know— Things that they're doing wrong, but that was the that was the, absolutely the worst thing that was going to happen to them. How do you pull your gun out and yeah. shoot a female police officer in the head? Right. Is her partner in the head? Right. When that guns are not even out. Yeah, you she have said, all you have all these feminists feminists standing up for women's rights, and then when a man commits uh, this type of violence against a woman, you don't hear anything from him. <laughs> yeah, don't make no sense to me. Yeah, but uh, there's another side. I like to hear this. But, Jewel, she, yeah. but she says she's not going to speak on it. There's nothing to speak on. Yeah. You're, you're talking out your ass. Yeah. Right. And just to, just about what you present yourself, you're, the way you, I mean, I mean, you have to understand what's going on. You have to be in tune with the situation. I mean, you're, you right there on camera doing a video, and about half the camera is filled with your breast and cleavage. It's not a classy look. It doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look like a responsible, strong woman would behave that way. I mean, I'm not saying you should uh, be ashamed of your body, but know the situation that you're in. Yeah, your boys are for shooting cops. People are going to judge you. Yeah, it's like— They're already judging your boys, and when you get on camera, you have your breast hanging out. I mean, she it's like you have no sense of reality. But let's, let's go ahead and watch the rest. Don't believe everything you hear and see. It's fictitious. And there is another side. My boys are not monsters. What people trying to paint them to be at all. At all. There is another side. <laughs> I don't believe a damn thing CPD says. And I can guarantee you this, my boys was afraid. I'm afraid. Our young black women, not only young black women, young black men, like I just said, I'm afraid. Adults are afraid of the CPD. And I'm clean, I'm not a criminal. My car is clean, I got insurance, all that. But if a cop get behind me, my heart drops. We, we, we fear our police here. Unfortunately, we fear them. We don't believe in them. We don't trust them. They get behind us. We, our hearts drop. We're scared. That's just the reality of it. Whether people want to hear that or not, I don't give a damn what people want to hear. I need to be a voice for my boys. Uh, let me say something. I, 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 I totally agree with a lot of things you said. You said, don't believe everything you hear on TV. Yeah. You should. I, I, that's a hundred percent fact. A lot of mainstream media is a majority is propaganda and lies. But maybe, just maybe, if you took your own advice, you wouldn't be scared of the police. Yeah, because the media has painted that narrative. Yeah, that you should fear the police. They're out here. They're white supremacists, and they're out here killing. Yeah, and just jumping on black people for no reason. You should follow your own advice. If you would follow your own advice, you wouldn't be scared of the police. Yeah, I want to say this. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, I I trust that she's scared. Her boys are scared, but yeah. you gotta know that people on the left are highly. Uh, they're easily manipulated. Some of them are just plain out stupid. Yeah, and they they believe. 
when they see people in the news like CNN, MSNBC, and they paint this picture, they actually believe it. Right. But, uh, man, that what you said is so true. I couldn't agree with you more. Don't believe everything you heard on TV. Yeah, And if I mean, you actually took your own advice, you wouldn't be scared of the cops. Yeah, if you would just follow this common rule. Yeah. I've had plenty of guns and mice for police officers, but I followed that directions. That's why I'm still here to, to tell the tale. Yeah. I don't, don't get it, man. I just, I just. You said a lot of truth, but you just misapplying. You're not even taking your own advice. Yeah, she's like, uh, I don't believe. She doesn't believe what she's hearing. I don't believe you. Definitely don't believe. This you. is all on body cam. Yeah. Everything that happened. Right. But there's another side coming out. There can't be another side. Not I mean, unless we're. Not unless this is an episode of uh, Twilight Zone or Out of Limits. It, there's no other side. Your boys have no accountability for the action. She they're said, murderers. She said they're not monsters. They are. Yeah, the one that shot the two cops, he is a monster. He's a super predator. Yeah. He does not deserve to be on the streets. He does not He does not deserve the right to have any freedom or be able to participate in society. Yeah. He should be locked up and throw away the key. Yeah. He might even receive the death penalty. Yeah. I mean, he's already a career felony. He's already a career felon, both of your boys. He and, purchased a gun illegally. Yeah, it's like they don't want— they, Some people just don't want to do right. Yeah. But you still defend them. Your boys can do no wrong. Let me shout this out to Chicago. They got the toughest gun laws in America. Yeah. And but it didn't got, keep criminals from getting guns. But they got the highest— But they got the highest murder they got, rate. They got horrible murder, uh, gun uh, death rate in this place. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the rest of this, this garbage. And that's all I got to say. Let me get in this hospital to see my damn son. See? <sighs> can you open the door? She's breathing hard, huh? I'm Why trying to see my son. <sighs> Stop, man. Stop breathing. Door. Amante Morgan, my son. Look at her. Was there a security guard? I want to see my son. Oh, hold on. Monty! Monty! Don't touch me! Get away from me! Stop! 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 Put your hands behind you. Please let me see your No rational person or mother would act like that. I mean, your son just shot two police officers. Ah, my son! Ah, let me see my son! Ah, ah. I mean, just shot two police officers. He's actually in custody. Yeah. For capital murder. Yeah. And you go in there and think you can just see him? I mean, it's like you're not in re you don't live in reality. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. An emotional woman, you're going to raise a violent son because his whole identity comes from you. You're acting emotional and you're violent yourself. Yeah, let me say something. Um, no, uh, that kid that went to the church and shop at Black Church, and they yeah. say when white people go do these mass shootings, uh, the cops don't shoot and kill them because they're white and they're treated better and all yeah. that crap. They make sure they're alive, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they won't kill them. Look, your sons shot two police, or one of them died. He made it to the hospital. They didn't kill him. They didn't I kill your other boy. I just wanted to point either. that out because the left always point that out. Right. Oh, right. if he'd have been uh, black, oh, he'd be dead already. Yeah, they, they, but there's a big difference. Whenever someone does a mass shooting, if they continue to shoot, the cops have no choice but to shoot and kill you. But the main thing that the reason why these white people that do these mass shootings are brought into custody alive is because one simple fact. They surrender. They give up. Yeah. They don't continue to try to kill people. Yeah, and once your son was disarmed because yeah. he had a gun— they stopped shooting him, and they took it, and he made yeah. it to the hospital. I yeah. just wanted to point that out. But I want to say this. Yeah. If I did something like this, me and you did something like this, oh, my man. mama would not do an Instagram video for one simple fact. She would dishon us. She would be embarrassed. Yeah. She wouldn't show her face to anybody. Yeah. She's getting on Instagram. My mama would be so embarrassed. My mama yeah. would become a hermit. Where's Christine at? Oh, you know what happened to that boys? She's uh she's went in a state of depression. She's uh she she does, she don't want to talk to nobody. If she mm -hmm. if, if if my mom or dad if my dad if my mom and dad came to the hospital my mom she 
My dad, if he would have got his hands up, <laughs> my dad was like Jason Voorhees. You know how they're running in the horror movies and they always fall down. That's how he catches them. Yeah. They're sprinting. Jason is walking, but for some reason he always catches them. <laughs> Jason Voorhees, that was my daddy. Well, that you got to explain to him, daddy. He had a bad leg. Yeah. And when he walked, horrible drunk, dr uh, drunk driving accident. <laughs> he have, was doing the drinking. <laughs> you didn't have to tell him that, man. <laughs> Why you got to lay down the facts, man. Daddy got over that, though. Why you got to keep throwing daddy under the bed? <laughs> Daddy's good, man. He had his fault. Yeah, but daddy, daddy had would, a drinking problem. Yeah, but when daddy walked this, like we in our house, yeah. it was an old house and it had hard wooden floors. It sounded like we was we lived in a haunted house whenever daddy was home walking. Because when he walked, he's like... <laughs> Right? And then uh, whenever dad was trying to catch us to beat our ass, yeah. I mean, if you'd have came in the hospital, I would have tried to run away. Daddy would be like. <laughs> and then when daddy get close, he just grab your ass. Like, Come here, you little n****. <laughs> I done told you. If daddy came in, daddy, you sorry ass mother's <laughs> My mom will be the bragger. You gonna kill him, Race? You gonna kill him? Damn right, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Shut the hell up, I come back. Make sure he's dead. That's <laughs> if he's still breathing. <laughs> hey, Christine. Christine! What? He's gone. <laughs> he gone. That's what I did. Sorry, ass mo <laughs> <laughs> That's what my dad, if he was alive today, that's what he would do to me. Because my, my dad didn't raise me to kill people, yeah. be a thug. Yeah, my mama, she may, she is still alive when I was in jail. Mm. My mama would probably come to jail for About like th two, three, four times for visits. But eventually, I know what my mama would say. I know my mama. She's like, you know what? This is depressing. I didn't raise you this. Yeah. I'm tired of looking at you. Yeah. For my health, I'm just going to act like you're dead. <laughs> you're never going to f*** me again, <laughs> you piece of shit motherfucker. <laughs> you're going to burn in hell. I read Bible to you every Sunday, and I can't wait till God come back and blow that trumpet and burn your ass at the damn stake. <laughs> Thank God I had parents, man, yeah. that had some brains. Yeah, I, I was never scared of my mama, but I was scared of my daddy because every time he would he would hit us, right before he beat us, man, and daddy, he wouldn't punch you like this. <laughs> daddy will beat you like a gorilla. <laughs> and he would always say these words, boy, I'm going to damn near kill your ass. No, he didn't say that. He said, I'm going to half kill you. That's what he said. I still can't remember because he was beating my ass. Daddy had this saying when he was whooping us, I'm going to half kill you, boy. Daddy, well, he would half kill you. I still wake up sometimes for uh, <laughs> flashbacks. <laughs> 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 yeah, but to the young lady, you had a tough job raising two boys. I'm not, I'm not saying it's all your fault. It's just... Man. I mean, that's it's when like you say blind, there's a, it's like blind leading the blind. It is. I mean, how, how, how old do you think she is? She's in her mid thirties. Yeah. These boys is twenty. Yeah, she had those 20. kids young. She had them kids it, blind leading the blind. This is like man. The perfect analogy is it's like Ray Charles trying to drive his little kid to preschool. That kid don't know where he's going, and Ray Charles definitely don't know where he's going. He don't even know where the damn ignition's at. <laughs> That's the perfect analogy I can yeah. make things make sense because without that dad, without two parents, or at the very least a very strong woman that behaves like a man, yeah. man, you, statistically speaking, more often than not, whether you white, black, brown, gay, I don't care what you are. I don't yeah. care if you got polka dots. You're yeah. going to have some problems growing up. Yeah, kids raising kids is never good. Yeah. But, but uh, there's when you say there's no other side, there's no other side. The one word that could prevent it, all this, some of it you said. Don't believe everything you read on TV. If if you actually believe what you are saying, your kids, you wouldn't be in this position. And one word 
that your kids in in word you've never shared with them is accountability, responsibility. Be responsible for your own actions. Be accountable accountable for what you do. Be a good just be a good human being. The truth is you had these kids way too young and you, could, you was more like a friend to them than a mother really. I mean, how can you like shoot somebody in the head? I could be pissed off. Yeah. I mean, I could never shoot somebody in the head unless they was trying to kill me. Mm. You, sh they sh shot people in the head for what? A damn traffic citation? And something tells me this is not the first time he's shot someone. It can't. It be. can't be. There's a lot more uh, story. There's another side, yeah. and that other side you don't want to come out because it's your how kids. The, yeah, how the criminal sus uh, the criminal justice system in Chicago is failing that entire city. Those yeah. kids probably should have been locked up a long time ago. Yeah, this should have never happened. I absolutely agree with you, but I think it's more because the criminal justice system let everybody down. Yeah. Anyway, I'm done talking about this garbage. <laughs> Damn, Bishop. Yeah. Mike Lindell, true patriot. He needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing. Built a great company, great products. I mean, you can buy pillows, towels. You can even buy some stuff for your pets, for your dog. I'm buying some stuff for my dog, Milo and Ruby. We support people that have a great product and supports our country. Yeah. And they support freedom of speech. Yeah, I don't, I don't support companies that's... Yeah. Just that don't support this country? Yeah. I don't support companies that don't value other people's opinions. And the left is trying to destroy this man because he has a different opinion. Yeah. Just and, because he supported the yeah. president of yeah. the United States. So go to his website now. Yeah. Right? Use discount code Hogs Twins. Yeah. Get a huge discount. And you'll be supporting a patriot. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese Virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again.